This is a special edition of WeatherScope with the latest winter storm update. Good morning and thanks so much for joining us here at the Weather Channel. I'm Jody Salen in the Forecast Center and of course our big story this morning is the winter storm that's hitting the Mid-Atlantic and of course we know this could be the storm of the century for the Mid-Atlantic states. We have seen already 10 inches of snow around Washington DC and we are talking about blizzard warnings now from Washington DC all the way up on through Philadelphia and in through New York City and are you ready for one to two possibly three feet of snow? Well, that's what you're going to get. And speaking of Washington, D.C., we go to Jeff Morrow. Our own Jeff Morrow is live down in Washington, D.C. on the mall. And Jeff, uh, I'll tell you what, it looks like it's coming down pretty good. Uh, Jody, yeah, it's been coming down pretty good ever since we got out here at about 6 or 7 o'clock this morning. Actually, the snow started when we were on the air last night about 8 o'clock, 8 or 9 o'clock last evening. Just some light flurries, but we knew that this was coming. We now have, as you mentioned, about 10 inches, maybe even a little bit more than that here on the mall, on the ground. And uh, it's still coming down, and it's coming down more sideways. I'd have to say that the wind has picked up here just a little bit, so that's making the wind chill factor uh, pretty nasty, and the visibility is dropping a bit as well. That's right. Now, have you had a chance to get out and talk to any folks? Do you think that people are taking this seriously um, and have prepared for the storm? Yeah, they prepared for it. Uh, this, I would not call this a surprise snowstorm. Everybody knew this was coming and uh, were forewarned that it was going to be a very big storm. Now, whether it lives up to its uh, billing of maybe one of the biggest of all time, we'll have to wait and see. But no, everybody is uh, pretty much prepared for it. We actually uh, I still have some people out here on the mall. You might be able to see behind me there some people walking up the mall. And there have been a few out. There have been some cross-country skiers uh, that have been uh, out and about, and even a couple of joggers, believe it or not. Uh, not a lot of people, but there are a few that are out enjoying the snow. Most people have heeded the warning, though, Jody, and are, are staying indoors. And it helps that this is a weekend. That's right. Uh, we probably will have some problems as we head back uh, to work tomorrow for those that have to head back to work. Of Definitely. Course, we're, we're talking about, you know, one to two and three feet of snow, and yeah. I'm sure that folks are stuck indoors and will be tuning in with us most of the day. In fact, we're going to be checking back with you as well uh, throughout the morning. Okay. All righty. That is the uh, scene in Washington, D.C. That has certainly been a problem. But, you know, here in Atlanta and in other parts of the southeast, we've also had some problems. In fact, let's take you in okay. to Tennessee, and that's where we've also had some big-time problems around. I mean, we have seen in the areas in white about 12 inches of snow, some of the official amounts coming in, uh, as much as 10 inches of snow, as we mentioned, around Washington, D.C. We've had about 15 inches of snow around uh, Roanoke, Virginia. And we're talking about more snow uh, to come uh, throughout uh, portions of the southeast and we're talking about possibly one to two to three feet of snow in some places throughout the southeast. In fact, uh, we're going to be dealing, or not the southeast, but the mid-Atlantic states, maybe one to three feet of snow throughout D.C. and also up around New York City and in through Baltimore. We're going to be dealing with just a, a tremendous amount of snow throughout this area as the area of low pressure continues to march up the mid-Atlantic coastline. So once again, a very serious situation. We'll be checking in all morning long uh, with Jeff Morrow in D.C. and also we have Jill Brown in New York City and we expect the uh, snow to start to pick up quite heavy later on this afternoon around New York City. So we'll be checking back uh, with Jill as well. So we want you to rely on us here at the Weather Channel. We will continue our updates all morning long. But there is some problems uh, in the Northwest. We'll be talking about that and also talking about the brutal cold that has overtaken the nation. And with that, we go back to Mark in the studio. All right. Thanks a lot, Jody. And I tell you what, I just got a peek at our new forecast model, the early one that comes in. And it's rather frightening. Uh, in Washington, D.C., we've already seen 10 inches of snow. And this is uh, forecasting the potential now for another, another 30 inches. And there could be uh, uh, one to three feet of snow from New York City right into southern New England. There are signs that the storm could slow down. And if that happens, somebody could get a 50 out of this storm. It is remarkable. Let's take a look at the vapor. And as we show you the vapor, I want to take you into the Midwest. And that, that's the key to our whole forecast, ladies and gentlemen, those of you in the east. Willie, put me on key left, please, and we'll take a look at what's going on. There you go. There you can see a little swirl through here. This is the upper low, and that's why it's still snowing over here in Ohio and also in Indiana and Kentucky. And until this moves by, the snow will continue. But along the coast here, our surface low is just beginning to develop, and it's waiting for the energy associated with this upper low to come by and gang up with it. And once it does so, 
this storm will really explode off the east coast. And that's why Jeff Morrow was saying, oh, the wind's just starting to pick up. And that's because the storm is just beginning to organize. And as the storm organizes, the winds will increase. And as that wind comes in from the Atlantic, the moisture will increase. So that means the snows will be picking up. And then as the upper low moves to the east, it's going to try and capture the surface low. And that early model is saying that it looks like that upper low will capture the surface low somewhere south of New England, slow it down. And you know what that means. That means it prolongs the precipitation of that flow coming in from the Atlantic. That means tons of moisture being pumped in from southern New England, southwestward down into Virginia here. So I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, probably be 30 to 50 inches of snow. How's that sound this morning? If you live in southern New England, you better head to the store right now. Make sure you have your milk. Make sure you have your bread. Make sure you have food for a couple of days. We've already had reports of power outages here, upper east Tennessee into the mountains of North Carolina. And we'll be seeing more power outages. So now it's time to stock up on the goodies. This is a super snowstorm. Super Bowl Sunday, a couple of weeks away. But this is Super Bowl Sunday of the winter in the east. This is the storm of the year, maybe the storm of all of our lifetimes in the eastern United States for snow. It is just that remarkable, just an incredible setup for snow. The upper low, the colder air in place, and then we have our surface low intensifying right along the Atlantic coast here. Winds just starting to pick up now here in the east. Gusty winds in the south driving the cold air all the way down the Gulf Coast. And there's a look at the wind chills below zero from Boston westward into the plains. Quick peek at your forecast for you for today. We'll show you the maps now. And our low pressure heads to the coast, and then it really explodes here. High pressure keeps the cold air pumping in. The Atlantic moisture moves in, and that means heavy snows from West Virginia spreading up to extreme southern New England during the nighttime hours. Around the lakes, yes, there's been some lake effect around Chicago. That will wind down after total accumulation of about three to six inches. And as Jody mentioned, uh, more rain and snow problems in the northwest. It's been a pretty wet season so far in western Washington, northwest Oregon, and that continues today and around Spokane. A little bit of a mixed mix. Down to the south, slush and snow will stay on the roads as temperatures fall and stay in the 20s. So roadways will be a sheet of ice. And that cold air will descend down upon the Gulf states tonight. Down here. Steve's panning around. What you're looking at there Are is the air. Air and Space Museum, uh, which is across there from me. And uh, visibility looking down the mall here can't be more than about an eighth to a quarter of a mile in moderate snow. And it's been like this for quite some time. I would say for the last uh, several hours, it just continues to come down in a steady fashion, a very powdery snow. Uh, a lot of cross-country skiers have been out, and uh, they've been loving it. Uh, I assume I'm talking to Jody. I haven't been able to talk to you, so I'll throw it back to you at this point. All righty. Thanks, Jeff. Uh, Still spiraling around that upper low, which is spinning its way off to the east. A lot of cold air. That's pushing its way southward down to the Gulf Coast. Uh, the roadways are a sheet of ice from northern Georgia into northern Alabama and up in the middle and east Tennessee. Just terrible driving conditions. A lot of power outages here in upper east Tennessee and into the Appalachians. Look at the cold air feeding down the east coast here. So not only will we have heavy snow, but we'll also have high winds and low temperatures combining for wind chills, and we'll say 10 to 30 below zero. Winds just begin.